So two weeks ago, Megan Rice gave a short speech at the Straightway Foundation. She talked about her journey to Islam, and it was one of the most inspiring things I've ever heard from a new Muslim. I went to church with a friend, a Christian church with a friend, and the pastor was talking about merch. Like, go out there and, and, and get our new t-shirt and, and wear it around and show. And I was looking around, was like, this is church. Right, and, and we're the best church in, in, in the city, and actually, let's go outside. Let's go outside and yell how we're the, how, how we're the best, and, and Christianity's the best outside of church. Two things I want to say about this. One, almost all DAWA projects are not monetized. Islam doesn't have merch. It's crazy to me that people get exploited in the name of their religion. It's unbelievable. And why do people accept this? This reminds me of Scientology because you have to pay monthly fee to be a Scientologist. It's crazy, but it's true. Google it. The second thing is it's encouraging in Islam to not have lavish looking mosques. A mosque shouldn't look luxurious and fancy. It shouldn't look like a castle. It's a place for spirituality and connecting to God and that's it and I just felt disconnected from God in that place it made me nearly cry because I felt that something was wrong with me because I was looking around and I was seeing so many people worship and and throw their eyes back in their head and they were they were just feeling all kinds of a spiritual connection and I felt nothing I felt absolutely nothing and so I decided to get some air and I just thought maybe I'm just always gonna be a, a, a non-believer maybe I just don't believe and I stepped outside to get some air and I looked at the tree that was outside of this church and it was blowing in the wind and it was absolutely perfect and I said to God out loud there you are contemplating that creation of Allah is strongly encouraged in the Quran it's one of the main things that the Quran invites people to do that's why I don't really care about people who say there is no evidence for God it's everywhere you really need to bend over backwards to convince yourself and to go against your nature and believe quote unquote believe that these things came by chance for those of you who don't know I am biracial my mother is white my father was black this was in the 80s, the early 80s, in Indiana. I'll let you fill in the blanks. Again, I want to comment on this because this is bizarre for a Muslim person to listen to. I am from a Muslim country and two people of different skin colors getting married is a non-issue. Nobody even notices it. It's like two people of different heights or different weights. Like, who cares? Skin color doesn't mean anything among Muslims. I was introducing myself to Islam strictly to understand my fellow human beings better. I had no intention of reverting. I do believe that if I was raised in religion, that would have been a bit more difficult because I would be comparing. I would be making a comparison. I totally understand what she's saying and she's right, obviously. That's her personal experience. But one thing that I personally tell people to do is to make the comparison. I'm not afraid of comparing Islam to any other religion or philosophy. Islam is far superior. It doesn't even compare. Just comparing Islam to literally anything else in the world does nothing but prove Islam correct. When my friends asked me what my spiritual beliefs were prior to this, I would say that I was an omnist. For those of you who don't know what that is, that means the belief of thinking, of, of believing every religion on earth has some truth to the original truth. To the surprise of non-Muslims and even some Muslims, this is acknowledged in Islam. Of course, other religions got some things right, but it's not the perfect truth. Prophet Muhammad said, me and other prophets are like a house that was built excellently, except for a place for one brick. When the people enter the house, they admire its beauty and say, but for the place of this brick, how splendid that house will be. Well, I am that missing part. There's also another saying that goes, I was sent to perfect good character. I'm not sure of this translation because the Arabic version suggests the meaning that the people before Prophet Muhammad had a lot of morals, a lot of ethics, but it just wasn't perfect. The first thing that I read, or the first thing that kind of got me to wake up, was there was no denial of other religion. That was the first indication that I was reading something different. Because just through my study with other religions, it's just so common to say, throw all of those out, they're not true, this is the one. Whereas Islam said, there is truth in those others. They're acknowledged. They were manipulated. They were touched by man. And this is to clarify that. That made sense to me. <laughs> That's why I always say that Islam is the common sense religion. It doesn't make sense to say that there is nothing true in Christianity. It's from God too. It was just corrupted by people. And Islam is preserved. 
That's it. What was so frustrating before was arguing or debating with religious people who outwardly denied that the texts were manipulated when it, it's documented in history. So that was the most frustrating for me prior to reading the Quran is just simply having a dialogue and saying, how do you differentiate the two? What, what do you follow and what do you don't now that you know it was manipulated? Oh, it wasn't manipulated. The way it is now is the way it is. But no, history said that was Satan. Satan went back in time and changed the and changed the text. Yes, I'm so serious. Someone told me that. Yes. You know what's the best part about being a Muslim? It's that you need zero mental gymnastics. Zero. There's nothing in Islam that's so nonsensical that you need to lie to yourself. And here's the problem: when you lie to yourself, if you're a Christian and you lie to yourself to, you know, believe something that doesn't make any sense at all, or you feel the need to ignore parts of your book because it's just so nonsensical, at your core, you don't really believe in Christianity. And I'll prove it to you right now. How many Christians actually live their entire lives according to the Bible? How many of them live in celibacy till marriage? How many of them actually do everything that the Bible says? Almost none of them right like one percent and they're considered to be like radicals by their fellow christians and that's because in their heart of hearts they don't really believe 100 percent that they're on the right path that that's actually the truth so many people try to complicate allah they try to make allah into this this complex science and i think the reason why so many people have been looking at my tiktoks is because i'm simply saying it's he's not he's there in whatever you see in nature, look at those trees outside right now and tell me they're not perfect. Pick up any leaf and tell me it's not perfectly symmetrical. Cut up open any fruit and look at the pattern. For that to naturally occur in nature, there is God every single time. And the Quran acknowledges that. What ultimately got me to revert is what I found was that my core beliefs, without religion, without thinking of anyone else's beliefs, my core beliefs of what I felt in my very spirit matched exactly what was in the Quran already. If you are non-Muslim and you are listening to this, this is exactly the experience that you will go through if you read the Quran. Finally, I want to talk to you about the website that I mentioned before, chatanddecide.com. It's one of the best Islamic websites out there because it offers you the service of chatting with a knowledgeable Muslim and have all your questions answered. No holds barred, you can ask about Christianity, you can ask about Islam, you can even mention bad things that you read about Islam online and receive answers and explanations for those things. And it's available 24-7 in nine languages. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.